boys and girls. Today we're going to read a book called Brianna, Jamaica, and the Dance of Spring. This book was written by Juanita Havill and illustrated by Anne Sibley O'Brien. So Juanita Havill is the author, she wrote the words. Anne is the illustrator, she drew the pictures. The title is the name of the book. And the title of this book is Brianna, Jamaica, and the Dance of Spring. Brianna stood straight and tall. She moved her arms in graceful arcs and leapt as high as she could. She hoped her dance teacher was watching. At the end of class, Jamaica ran up to Brianna. I hope I get to be butterfly queen, she said. I think there should be two butterfly queens, Brianna said. The dancers in this class, Madame Moravec announced, will be flowers and bees for the dance of spring. She gave each dancer a sheet of paper with a costume description. No fair, Brianna showed Jamaica her paper. I'm a sunflower. Jamaica looked at her paper. Marigold, she frowned. How do you think she feels about being a flower? How do you think Brianna feels about being a flower? Look at the expressions on their faces. This will help us know how our characters feel. Do they look happy? No. Do they look sad or disappointed? What did they want? Remember what they wanted to be? Anytime where you wonder at something that you already are supposed to know, you can go back and reread. Remember on this page, Jamaica had said, I hope I get to be butterfly queen. And what did Brianna say? I think there should be two butterfly queens. Going back and rereading is not a bad thing. It shows that you're a good reader that wants to know as much as possible about your characters. At home, Brianna tried on her costume. Hold still, Brianna. I don't want to poke you with a pin, her mother said. Brianna stared in the mirror. Orange satin, black satin, and dark green tights. When it was her sister's turn to try on her butterfly queen costume, Brianna watched. Mother, can I have wings on my costume like Nikki's? She asked. You're a sunflower. You have petals, Nikki said. Bright orange petals, Mother said. Petals aren't the same as wings, Brianna said. So here's Brianna looking at Nikki, who's older, and Nikki gets to be a butterfly queen, just like Brianna wanted. And Brianna is a sunflower, so she has petals on her costume. How is she feeling? Hmm. Every week at dance class, Brianna and Jamaica practice twirling like flowers in the breeze. Then Brianna stayed after to watch Nikki's class. Nikki leapt across the stage as if she were flying. Brianna tried to memorize every move. At home, Brianna practiced being a butterfly. She leapt down the hall and around her room. When we see somebody that can do something that we wish that we could do, Instead of feeling sad about it, you can do something about it. You can watch them and you can practice doing what they are doing. That's how you get better at something. One day when Jamaica came over, Brianna showed her Nikki's butterfly costume. Oh, wow, Jamaica said. Can I try it on? Nikki's not home, Brianna said, but I don't think she'll mind. I'll go first. Brianna put on the silky yellow gown with the black and yellow wings and the crown with velvet antennas. She danced the butterfly queen as if she were flying. You're as good as Nikki, Jamaica said. Here, you give a try. Brianna gave the costume to Jamaica, but be careful. Why does she need to be careful? Because it's Nikki's costume for the recital and her mother worked hard on it. It's a special costume. 
At the next rehearsal, Madame Moravec told them that one of the bumblebees was sick. Is there a flower who would like to be a bumblebee? Brianna thought for a minute. The bees had wings, little see-through wings. Before Brianna could make up her mind, Jamaica held up her hand. Beets being a marigold, she whispered to Brianna. Beets being a sunflower too, Brianna said, but Madame Moravec didn't need any more bees. On the Thursday before the recital, Brianna's mother picked her up after school. Mother, where's Nikki? It's dress rehearsal today and all of the classes dance together. Nikki's sick, Brianna. The nurse called me at lunch and I came and got her. Dr. Shields is pretty sure that it's strep throat. Oh no, what's Nikki gonna do? She has to dance on Saturday. She's going to rest and get well. She'll dance another time. Could you give her costume to Madame Moravec? Brianna took the costume. She thought about the dance of spring. What would Madame Moravec do now? You will have to pay close attention, Madame Moravec told the dancers. The butterfly queen is sick and I have to change the dance to make it work without her. You don't have to. Brianna said in a soft, shaky voice. Brianna, did you say something? I could be the butterfly queen. I've been practicing and Nikki's costume fits me. Brianna's really good, Jamaica said. Madame Moravec thought for a minute. Then she said, as soon as you all have your costumes on, we'll begin. Brianna, let's see you dance the butterfly queen. Oh. Jamaica looks very happy for her friend. Brianna stood tall. The music started and she began to zigzag around the flowers. Her gown swished and her wings trembled. Leaping and turning, she forgot about everything but the dance. When she finished, she felt that she had danced as gracefully as Nikki. Madame Moravec asked her to stay after class to practice the steps again. Brianna danced from start to finish, and Madame Moravec didn't stop her once. No more Brianna Sunflower. She was going to be the Butterfly Queen. Brianna called Jamaica when she got home. I knew you could do it, Jamaica said. Beats being a sunflower, Brianna said. Then she went to tell Nikki about rehearsal. You're not mad at me, are you, Nikki? No, Nikki said, but she was frowning. How did you know the steps? Before Brianna could even answer, Nikki said, it's not fair. Why did I have to get sick? It's just not fair. I hope you feel better tomorrow, Brianna said. It doesn't matter. Nikki flopped back on her pillow. Is Nikki upset at Brianna? Or is she just upset that it didn't work out the way she wanted it to? The next morning, Brianna didn't feel good. She had a headache, her tummy felt queasy, and she wasn't hungry at all. Her mother felt her forehead. Open your mouth wide, Brianna, he said, peering in at her throat. It doesn't look too good. Mother took her temperature. We'd better have a throat culture done, Brianna. I feel fine, Brianna said. What do you think the problem is now? I think she might have strep throat just like her sister did. She had gone in and talked to her. And even though they're not super close, you can spread germs just being somewhat close to somebody. It's not like they're wearing masks or anything. She could have caught strep throat from her sister. Why do you think she tells her parents that she feels fine suddenly? She doesn't want to be sick. She wants to go and do the dance. When they got back from the clinic, her mother phoned Madame Moravec. Brianna's head was spinning and her throat hurt when she swallowed. After supper, Jamaica called and told Brianna that Madame Moravec had changed the dance. Now there's no butterfly queen 
and no sunflower. I wish you didn't have to miss it. But all Brianna could say was, why did I have to get sick? It's not fair, not fair, not fair. After they hung up, she thought, I sound just like Nikki. Sometimes things aren't fair. Sometimes things we really look forward to don't get to happen. It's just how life is sometimes. The night of the recital, Brianna felt a little better. So did Nikki. They put on their robes and played games in their room. As they crawled into bed, Brianna said, I guess the recital is over now. I don't want to talk about dancing, Nikki said. So Brianna didn't say what she was thinking. She waited for Nikki to fall asleep. Then she got up and took her sunflower costume from the closet and put it on. Humming quietly, she practiced the steps to her dance. Then she got back in bed. Nikki woke her in the morning. Brianna, did you sleep in your costume? Brianna nodded. Yes, so I would remember my idea. We have costumes, Nikki. We can do our own recital. Brianna couldn't wait to tell Jamaica. So Brianna is trying to make the best of a bad situation. She has a great attitude. The next week, they danced for their families. Nikki was a graceful butterfly queen in her yellow silk gown, and Jamaica danced the bumblebee again. Brianna Sunflower twirled in the gentle breeze. Two orange petals trembled like wings on her back as she danced. I love how they made the best of a bad situation. Sometimes we miss out on something we were looking forward to, but instead of letting it get us down, we just do the best with it that we can. And that's exactly what Jamaica did. I mean, Brianna, Brianna did. Jamaica did it too, because she danced again, but it was Brianna and Nikki that really made the best of that situation. They might have missed the recital, but they had their own later, and it was all Brianna's idea. Thanks for reading this book with me. What lesson do you think we can learn from Brianna?